Lawmakers are doing what they can to help veterans hit hard by the COVID-19 crisis, but they also got a little sidetracked debating the words of a former president. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding explains. More than 117,000 National Guard troops and reservists were called up at the height of the nation's COVID-19 response. They did their duty, but what about when they went back home? The veterans' current 8.6% unemployment rate is more than double what it was in March before the pandemic hit. These service members deserve to return to the lives they were living without fear of being jobless. House Veterans Affairs Committee members aim to help with the Veterans Economic Recovery Act. The Veterans Economic Recovery Act would authorize a rapid retraining program so that veterans who have lost their jobs due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic can access short-term training programs and in-demand fields to help them quickly find new jobs. One area where there was no consensus involved America's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, and his motto for the Department of Veterans Affairs, to care for him who shall have borne the battle. The Honoring All Veterans Act would change the singular gender phrase to also include women. The VA's motto in its current form has excluded millions of women and gender diverse veterans, past and present, and will continue to exclude future generations until it's changed. But the VA wouldn't budge. The VA's position is that we do not see a need to enact a new motto. I honestly, I'm not going to let go of this issue because I just don't understand the VA's position on this. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.